A few months ago, I finally gave into the hype and bought one of the K40 laser engravers from Amazon. This style of K40 laser is a CO2 laser and it's probably one of the most popular in the world right now because of its initial low cost and the promise of near infinite modifications that can be done to increase its capabilities. And this is promising, especially when you compare the price of higher end laser systems like Muse, Glowforge, Full Spectrum Laser, or Epilog Laser that are, you know, thousand, maybe $10,000 for each of those individual systems. And on paper, everything sounds great. But here are a few things you should know before you take the plunge. The first thing is, the initial factory cutting area is really small. And it comes factory installed with this little weird guillotine contraption here. But nobody uses this. Number two is the included exhaust fan and the hose that goes along with it are complete I wouldn't advise anybody to use it if you want to get any kind of really good results out of this laser. Number three is that the mirror alignment system is a pain in the ass. Now I know this is probably really common among a lot of other lasers unless you get into the high end lasers where you don't even have to touch the mirrors, but it is a very arduous process. I've had to do this over and over again to try to get a decent alignment. Now I know some people have had an easier time than I have. Maybe it's something you know that I'm not doing as effectively as I should, and I take responsibility for that. And there's tons of tutorials on YouTube to follow, and I've followed all of them. I finally got them aligned, but not without wasting an extreme amount of tape and time, and just the sheer frustration of trying to get those things aligned. Because if you don't have the mirrors aligned, you might as well not even use the laser cutter. And number four, to get any real value out of this laser, you're gonna to wanna to do some major upgrades that change your investment in the laser pretty drastically. You're gonna to wanna to upgrade the mirrors, get a new exhaust fan, get a new exhaust hose, get a new water pump and cooling system to keep the laser cool, possibly get a new focal lens, get an air assist system, create a custom level system for your work pieces, and maybe even after all that, add in an optional rotary system for cylindrical engraving. After you add up all those things, your investment is far greater than that initial $350 to $400. Now you're probably still gonna come in a lot cheaper than you would with one of those other laser systems, but it's not what a lot of people expect when they first get this system. Another downside is that with these lasers and how they're made, I think the quality assurance is probably a little bit less than what you would expect from a higher end laser. In fact, Mine came with a broken mirror, and it's cheap mirrors all together that I had to replace. So this type of system isn't for everyone. You're gonna to have to consider for yourself whether or not that you have the technical knowledge and the patience to go through and set all of this up. There are some people that do, and they're really good at it. They have really good technical knowledge, and they could have this machine running up like a champ for very little investment compared to the other systems. But you also might be on the other end where you don't want to put in that time. You want something that is simply fire and forget and will just work every time that you use it. One of the more expensive systems might be a better bet for you because you will not have to tinker with it as much. You will not have to do any modifications or hacks and it will simply just work. So ultimately you're gonna to have to decide for yourself whether spending more money for a more turnkey system is the way you want to go or if you're okay putting in five, 10, 15 hours to dial in the system to get exactly what you want, you know how the exact system works and be able to make all those modifications to basically create the laser that you want to use in your shop every day. For me, I'm somewhere in the middle. I didn't want to pay too much for the system, but I'm also kind of impatient. But even then, over the last, I think it's almost five months now that I've owned this laser, I've probably spent about 15 to 20 hours getting everything dialed in and making those modifications. My time was worth a little bit less than the dollar amount, which is why I made that choice. But it hasn't been easy and it's been really frustrating. But now that I have things dialed in, I've been able to get some really cool results and I'll show you a couple examples of what I've been doing with it right here. Now, if you're the type of person that likes tinkering, likes fixing things and making modifications and improvements, then this really might be the system for you. And once you do get everything dialed in, you can get some pretty decent results, depending on the power level and settings that you use for the cutting. So this video really isn't intended as a review, 
It's really intended as just know before you buy. For some of you, this might be the perfect solution. It has a lot of capabilities to expand on, to modify, and get some really interesting results. But for others, if you don't have a lot of technical knowledge, if you don't want to spend an endless amount of time trying to tinker with something and get it to work the way that you want, that extra money for one of the higher end lasers really might be worth it. And you just have to decide for yourself. Now, if you are willing to take the plunge, I have some good guides for you to follow. Not from me, but from some of my friends like Wes from Geeksmithing. He has a series of laser videos that give some really good demos of what the laser is capable of, along with some modifications that I really highly recommend. In fact, when I was getting my laser up and running, I referred to a lot of his material and his expertise to even get this to a working point. So it's very much appreciated. And I'll also post a link to a couple other sites that talk about alignment of the mirrors and just general info all together so that you can make the best decision you can when looking at getting into the, uh, the laser cutting game. So I hope you found this at least a little bit useful. Take care. Be sure to subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I'll see you guys next time.